Prime Minister Anthony Albanese and US President Joe Biden have signed a new partnership allowing for the transfer of American space technology to Australia. Now, the agreement will boost the nation's commercial space industry by greenlighting more satellite launches by US companies from Australian sites. Well, joining me now live is Southern Launch CEO Lloyd Dav. Really appreciate your time, Lloyd. Uh, what did you make of the announcement of the agreement this week. It's probably been a long time coming for you. It has been a long time coming, but it's a clear message from the Australian government that they are supportive of uh, space activities here in Australia, both uh, the launching of rockets from our nation, but also the return of capsules uh, already on orbit. So very strong message and very exciting uh, for, for us as a company and us as a nation as we move forward. Joe Biden noted that Australia assisted way back there in, in the late 60s with the Apollo launch and beaming pictures to the world. So what's the next phase of this cooperation going to be between Australia and, and the United States? Yes, so um, uh, the Americans are the world leaders in space technology. And uh, we are very much looking forward to hosting the first uh, capsule return, a uh, commercial capsule return to our Kineva test range as early as next year. So uh, we, we look forward to that being uh, the first activity under that TSA agreement. So are there are two sites in Australia where most of these activities take place. Can you talk us through where they are and why uh, the sites are there essentially? Yes, yeah, so uh, Southern Launch, we have two sites currently approved by the Australian Space Agency uh, for launches to space. So the, the first site is our Kniba test range out in the, uh, or near the regional centre of Seduna. That site is fundamentally a suborbital testing range where rockets can go out into space and uh, test, uh, test uh, new novel satellite technologies or collect information on our broader cosmos before returning uh, to the deserts to the north. And um, that site is also the location that we'll be returning capsules uh, that undertake on-orbit manufacturing uh, down to Australia. The other site is our Whaler's Way orbital launch complex at the very tip of the Air Peninsula here in South Australia. That site is dedicated uh, to orbital launches, so returning those capsules to space or taking uh, American satellites or Australian satellites to orbit. So very complementary activities across the two sites uh, here in South Australia. So should uh, South Australians be looking up in the sky for these types of capsules? Indeed, hopefully uh, we will see a lot of capsules returning uh, from orbit to South Australia. And uh, as we've always said, uh, space is just a critical uh, technology enabler, right? It's, it's the broader industry base that will then be able to leverage the activities occurring from our two sites and uh, uh, do a, a lot of value add to a, a, a high-tech product, um, yeah. So in terms of the space race, um, does this put America in, in advantage, having Australia in its back pocket, essentially, on, on space technology? Because uh, we're about to tell our viewers about what China's up to in, in the space race. Uh, could, you know, could we see a bit of uh, hard diplomacy here in this sort of field? Um, I'm, I, all I know is that uh, Australia has some incredible, unique... Uh, 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 value adds to the American space industry and, and globally uh, we have some very unique uh, ge uh, geography that um, uh, will aid uh, Australia, America and our other allies to um, uh, maintain a broad situational awareness across our region uh, and support uh, a lot of the different humanitarian and other activities that uh, go on globally with our partners. So very exciting to see the role that, that we here in Australia will be able to play uh, more broadly on that global, uh, global uh, landscape. Look forward to hearing much more about it and perhaps uh, we'll look up in the sky for some of those capsules. Lloyd Damp, really appreciate your time. Thanks so much. Anytime, thank you.